This is Jason Sullivan of On Subrogation, your video resource for your subrogation and recovery claims. In this video, we're going to talk about hearsay. Hearsay is a rule of evidence that tries to make sure the evidence heard by the court is trustworthy. I think of it as the telephone game that you may have played when you were a kid. Person one starts with a statement that they whisper to another person. That person whispers to a second person, then a third, fourth, and so on, until it gets back around to the person who made the original statement. More often than not, whatever they said they just heard was not exactly what they started the whole chain with. That's what hearsay tries to address. The fact that secondhand testimony is not as trustworthy or reliable as a person who actually started a chain or witnessed events themselves. The legal definition of hearsay is an out-of-court statement presented to prove the truth of the matter asserted. The declarant is the person who made the statement outside of the courtroom. The witness is a different person who's going to testify that that person told them these things or they read these things someone else wrote on a different occasion. Those are hearsay and the court would rather hear from the person who made the statement, I witnessed this, I wrote this down after I saw it, as opposed to someone else saying, I read or heard what this person said to me. Two items are not even included as hearsay within the definition. They're not exceptions, they're just not hearsay. The first is a prior sworn statement by a witness. This is really in the context of impeachment. If a party gets on the stand and says something, they give testimony that X, Y, Z were the facts and these things happened on this date. If they have given prior testimony under oath that contradicts that, those out-of-court statements that were given under oath can be used to contradict and impeach the witness and are not considered hearsay under the federal rules. Likewise, out-of-court statements that were given under sworn testimony conditions can be used to bolster a party once their credibility is being questioned. If someone gets on the stand and says, I saw the red car run the red light, the other side says, well, isn't it true you told this person that you saw a blue car? Now you can go back and if they had given sworn testimony at an earlier time that states, no, it was the red car and they've been consistent in stating that it was the red car. That prior testimony, if given under oath, can also be used to bolster the credibility of the witness. The second area that is not hearsay under the federal rules are statements by a party opponent. In the cases of litigation, you have a plaintiff and you have a defendant. If you are the plaintiff, the party opponent is the defendant. If you're the defendant, the party opponent is the plaintiff. Any statement made by a plaintiff or a defendant can be used against them. In this case, let's say we have a motor vehicle collision between two parties. The first party is the plaintiff. They claim they were rear-ended by the defendant. The plaintiff gets up on the stand and testifies, as I was driving down the street, I was stopped and I was rear-ended by the defendant. The defendant got out of the car and said, I'm so sorry, I was texting and not looking at the road, and I rear-ended you. I'm really sorry about that. The defendant's statement is an out-of-court statement, and the plaintiff, if they're on the stand testifying, is trying to use that out-of-court statement to prove the truth of the matter, that the defendant was texting and ran into the back of them because they weren't paying attention. That ordinarily would fit the hearsay definition, except for the fact that the statement was made by the defendant. And therefore, because it's an admission by the defendant and the plaintiff is attempting to use it, it's not considered hearsay under the federal rule. That's our first video on hearsay. We're going to have two more videos in which we discuss exceptions to these rules. For On Subrogation, I'm Jason Sullivan, and that's the long and short of it.